want to do today is I have a painting that I want to do. I want it to be a very thoughtful portrait and I want to do it really well. So what I want to do here is I want to do a charcoal steady. So I'm going to take some, this is just some fine charcoal that I've got. And I've got my kneaded eraser, pencils, I got my charcoal pencils, uh, pencil pencils, a few blending stops. Um, it's just, this is just my drawing pack. Uh, some graphite pencils. Hey, there's a, a nice clean. I think this is worthy of a nice clean one. I don't always start a painting this way. A lot of times I will do a, a rough sketch on the canvas and then just build it up from there. But this one's a little different. And so I thought it would be good to take you through the steps with me. Just so, just so we can see and it helps me kind of clarify in my own mind. What the heck I'm doing? I'm going to do this at, well, let's see. I started to say I was going to do this as a reductive drawing, but I don't think I am. Uh, let's see. I've got a reference photo over here. And uh, warning, if you don't like snakes, this has a snake on it. This is one that I removed the background, but it still has my granddaughter in the background. But I'm just gonna use him and include my own background. Let me see if I can show it with, yeah, see, that's with everything. And then thanks to my iPhone, I just, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of sketch this out, get my mind around proportions and how the snake, snake kind of, coils and well you get the idea so I just I need to get the proportions down I want to I'm hoping this will make make it clearer in my mind fine charcoal is a little hard let me get a softer one there we go Such a cute little, little turd. I just think this snake is so interesting. The patterns on it. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of laying down my proportions and where things kind of go. What I want to do is the snake needs to wrap around him and he he doesn't need to fit onto the snake if that makes sense um, he is the most important he is the the foundation this is a bull snake which is totally harmless it would not be holding it if it were not. Uh, my daughter has had this snake for, oh Lord, I don't even know how long. I want this precise enough that I even considered projecting the image onto the canvas, but that's just not how I was I was trained necessarily. Not that I don't think anything's wrong with that sometimes, because you know, if you're on a tight schedule, especially if you already know how to draw, uh, and you could have, you know, because you you trace something and it still has it has a different look to it if you don't know what you're doing. 
I'm not saying this is perfect by any means. This is just to help me think out to um, what, what I need uh, proportion wise. The canvas I plan on using is 16 by 20. Um, I did some self portraits a few years ago and I did it a specific style. It's a little tight. what I usually like to do, but I'm going to go ahead and it's, it's one of those, well, I hope anyway, that the canvas is, uh, the surface of it winds up relatively smooth, not to where it looks like a reproduction or a You know, print because that, to me that sort of defeats the point purpose of painting in some ways. But um, anyway, I, I digress. So anyway, this is just going to be like a little study. Blocking in the darker areas. His little head. Let me look on the camera and see what we've got here. Great thing about using this fine charcoal that's really soft is you can lift it up fairly easy. So you can adjust it. Mainly at this point, what I'm concerned about are values. I thought about doing this in oil pastel, and I still might. I'm looking at this negative space so I can get this. Anyway, I may still do one as just like a color study. I don't usually do the same, the same subject over and over. I know a lot of artists consider that good practice because you don't see everything sometimes right off the bat. And it helps you also loosen up on things. So let's try and see what we're doing here. So nose is right there. This little smirk saying, look what I'm doing, Mom. I like the colors in this, this photo too, photo reference. It's got, um, oh, he's got a little hair going pink, pink. It's got the, the the reddish orange of his glasses, and then these really rich browns on the snake. He's got a little bit of orange on his shirt, and then uh, his t-shirt is a, like an army green, a dark army green. know in the comments if you want to see the process that I use to to paint this the way that I, I'm intending that I'm thinking it'll be in oils this last year I've done a lot of studies in my sketchbook and not not more refined 
paintings, and so that's my goal. I'm just, I'm coloring in this snake so that I can take off areas. He won't stay this dark. <laughs> space now of his of the pattern on him. His, his pattern is so interesting. And it's got this like white line around it. I'm gonna do I really like how that looks just kind of playful there. See if I can get some teeth in there. Yeah, there he is. I don't think I want to use. Well, maybe I do. I started to use a a blender to kind of get some of these uh, lighter area or mid tones. Whoop, that's a technical term. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I've got that highlight a little off. Mid tones in there. I know there's an angle on this camera on the photo that's going to make this larger in proportion. Um, so I'm going to compensate just a little bit. Got like a strange fold right in here. Enough failed to include his elbow. Gotten it too dark. Right now, I'm not worried so much about a likeness as I am getting down important information overall. going to work on this too much longer because I think this is going to be this tells me what I need in a lot of ways it helps me figure out the layout because the layout on a on a 18 by 20 or 16 by 20 is going to be more vertical than this so if I take this in you know to the right proportions it's going to be 
it's gonna it should work fine. I'm going to go I'm looking at this pencil because I didn't even he has this these white lines and I want to be I just want to be con conscious of them of the snake <laughs> If I keep messing with it, I'm going to lose the, and then I keep messing with it. But I did discover some issues in here, so that's good. So I'm aware of it. By the way, that little line right there. total happenstance. I think I'm going to leave it though because it kind of looks like he has his tongue out. I am pressing down with this white just because it's uh, it doesn't cover really well and and I want it to be I want to be able to see it.
think I'm going to stop there. She says that she keeps marking and taking. I could, I could sit here and fiddle on this for hours. I'll lose any freshness in the in the painting. So I'm going to stop there. Okay, I'm stopping there. Uh, this, like I said, this is a study for a, a larger piece. Um, I will consider doing a oil pastel study of it and to help give me more ideas about the colors. So if I need to, and if I do, I'll, I'll record that and and I'll have that here on the channel. I almost forgot to mention the sketchbook that I'm using is this brand. Uh, it was available on Amazon and also I have a basic skills drawing course that's available should be available by the time this this video goes live if anyone is interested and it shows um, basic skills the foundational things that you need to know perspective value things of that nature i'd appreciate it if you check it out and don't forget to put a thumbs up if you haven't already please consider subscribing thank you Bye-bye.